Well, it's collaboration time again. This is where we team up with five of our other YouTube RV friends and talk about a certain RV topic across all of our channels on the same day at the same time. Yeah. So after you get done watching our video, make sure you pop over to all those channels and check out their videos because I'm curious about what they say about this topic also. Yeah. And something we've never ever done before mm -hmm. is this month we have a special guest joining us in the collaboration. So yeah. uh, this month we are inviting Matt's RV Reviews to the collaboration yeah. as a special guest and we'll include him in the uh, link that we leave down in the description. Mm -hmm. So make sure after you get done, pop over and check all those out. So what are we talking about this month in the collaboration? We're gonna talk about how we got into RVing. We have an interesting story about how we got into RVing. And I think we need to go back and talk a little bit about our experience in RVing or camping before we started the full-time RV thing. Okay. So for me, a little bit of tent camping. My dad has a small travel trailer that we used when we went like deer hunting and stuff. Yeah. But that was about it until I got into the army. Did a lot of camping in the <laughs> army. Like, yeah. Camping in the army. <laughs> um, but for you, uh, the Marriott. We camped at the Marriott <laughs> and we had <laughs> nice breakfasts. <laughs> that was roughing it for you. Yes, we we are. The castles are not campers. I retired from the army in 2016 mm -hmm. and I was a combat medic. And so I went naturally into the medical field in the public sector. Yes. So I, after I retired, I went straight out to a civilian hospital and started working as an administrator for two hospitals in Columbus, Georgia. Correct. You were still working at the on post military hospital. Yes. And we hated it. We were so stressed out. We so just hated stressed. it. So one night, it was only a couple months into my new civilian job. And I just, I was making a lot of money, but I just wasn't happy with it at yeah. all. It was stressing me out. I never had any time off. No. I could see and manage everything from home. So I never felt like I was off the clock. Never felt like I wasn't working. And there was constantly phone calls coming in and mm -hmm. problems that I had to deal with and issues I had to resolve. Weekends, holidays, nights. It didn't matter. I just didn't have any time off. Correct. And the military hospital, politics. Yeah. You didn't like your boss. Oh, I liked my boss. I You're didn't like my boss's boss. Exactly. <laughs> well, it was one of your bosses. Yes, my senior boss. And so we were sitting there watching TV one night and yeah. a commercial come on for Go RVing. Mm -hmm. Tom Selleck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, like the it's like that cruise America where you rent the RV and yeah. you go out and do the thing and and to me I thought that would be a great vacation for us. Our daughter still had two years of high school to go at yeah. that point, and I was like, you know, that would be an opportunity for me to get away from work. To where if if I go and rent an RV and take off and go out west to Grand Canyon or something like that, then they can't call me back. Right. Somebody else is gonna have to deal with it. I need to go on a vacation far enough away. To where I actually get a vacation. Yeah. And so I was like, hey, that would be a good idea. We should do that. We should rent an RV and, and go on a trip. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I would just live in one tomorrow if I could quit my job today. <laughs> and I was like, it, it was a shock to me. You did. You were sitting forward and then you <laughs> turned like this at me. <laughs> all, yeah. all peppy, like what? And I was like, I'm your huckleberry. That's just my game. Three. Say wham. Don't play with my emotions, you man. You did. That's exactly what you said. I will do it right now. Yeah. And I thought you were joking. You did think I was 100 joking. 100% thought she was joking. I was like, are you serious? Are you seriously serious? <laughs> and she goes, yeah. I would give up the house, all of our stuff, uh, and I would just travel full time if it meant I didn't have to deal with the stresses of my job. I didn't have to job. walk through those doors one more time. There were a couple of factors. Yeah. Finances was one. Yes. And the other fact is, you had never stepped foot into a camper. No. <laughs> so you didn't even know if it was going to be doable for you. Correct. So we had to go and look. I had to go in. I had to sit in it. I had to spend some time in there, move around, room to room, 
decide if I could do day in, day out that. Yeah, so at that point, we went to a bunch of RV shows, a yeah. bunch of RV dealers. We watched a lot of YouTube. That's when we introduced ourselves to YouTube. Yeah. I was like, you know what? This doesn't bother me. I don't feel claustrophobic. I don't feel boxed in so much. I feel like I have movability. Yeah. It doesn't feel bad. So at that point, we decided that's what we're going to do. Our daughter still had two years of high school left, so we're like, we're going to buckle down. We're still going to work these last couple years. We're yep. save up. We'll pay stuff off. We'll get her through high school, get her settled into college, and then we will hit the road. The house and say goodbye. We closed on the house the day our daughter graduated high school. Yeah. <laughs> and we sold our house furnished. Yes. So we have nice. everything we own is right here in the RV behind us, besides a very, very small storage for like my military stuff. The other thing that intrigued us about RVing is because it really is your only option. If you want to travel around a lot yeah. and see a bunch of different things, you can't really just go hotel hopping. No. It's way too expensive. Yeah. You know, we don't know enough friends and family to just jump around yeah. and move and see everything that we want to see. So really RVing is your only option if you want to live this kind of a lifestyle. Exactly. Honestly, because of the way that the economy is today, and the RV prices and interest rates, I if we were in the same situation today, I don't know that we'd be able to do it. Exactly. I think we'd be uh, working just a little bit longer. Yeah. To to make that possible, more manageable. Or we'd have to do a little bit of work from the road. Yes. We'd have to do some kind of a work camping situation, or get some you know work at home oh. online jobs or yeah. something because. The army pays the bills, but we wouldn't be able to do anything. Dude, we wouldn't yeah. be able to have any fun. We'd just be moving around and living. Yeah. And then you really, that, that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole RVing exactly. lifestyle thing. Well, that's it. That's how we got into RVing. Leave us a comment and let us know how you got into RVing. Or if you haven't gotten into RVing yet, leave us a comment and let us know what your plan is. After you get done watching this, be sure to pop over and watch all those other channels and see how they got into RVing. And don't forget our special guest, Matt from Matt's RV Reviews. Hey, stick around for a few seconds because we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. If you want to get involved with helping us help veterans while we're out on the road, everything you need to know is right down in the description of the video. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.